No. We didn't shoot. We didn't oppose the BBI because of who was behind it. We did it because it was a fraud. This country's problem is not to change the constitution. The problem of this country is not ethnicity. This narrative that uh, we are trying to bring people together is a charade. Kenyans have no problem with each other. I have not had any Kenyan having a problem with another. You guys are here, you have no problem with me. I don't think we have a problem with each other. The problem of this country is the economy. The problem of this country is poverty. The com problem of this country is unemployment. Those are the things that the people of Kenya wants addressed. It's not to change the constitution. It's not to create extra positions. It is not to create extra constituencies. Far from it. The people of Kenya want leaders to deal with the poverty eradication. They want leaders to deal with unemployment. They want a conducive business environment for business to thrive. Today, after COVID-19 has been around, around with us for one and a half years, there are people who cannot pay rent. There are people who have no food on the table. Those are the real challenges of the Kenyan people. And that is why you see Kenyans are so happy that the BBI has been thrown into the dustbin of political history. Because according to many Kenyans, including ourselves, the BBI was not a priority. That was a scheme by the president and the former prime minister on how they would rule beyond their term, unconstitutionally. And the judges have done us proud as a country, you know, because we cannot allow impunity. So there is nothing uh, about vengeance, no. Those who are characters were selfish and they have been put in the right place. In another day, if you are selfish, uh, the courts and the Kenyan people will deal with you. So let anybody who has an issue bring it to parliament will work on it.